Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at ratios, and more specifically, part to whole ratios. So we're going to take a look at the number of a certain part compared to the total number of the group, the whole group. So let's take a look at number one uh, as our first example here. And we need the ratio of oranges to the total amount of fruit. So remember in ratios, order matters. So oranges comes first here in our problem, so it needs to come first in our ratio. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six oranges, two, now we need the total amount of fruit. So if there are six oranges, we need to see how many strawberries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight strawberries plus the six oranges. So we have a total of 14 pieces of fruit in that entire group. So six oranges to the 14 pieces of fruit in the group. Now this ratio can be simplified. Uh, six and 14 have a greatest common factor of two, so let's divide them both by two. You always wanna simplify your ratios if you can. So six divided by two is three, and 14 divided by two is seven. So our simplified ratio would be three to seven. All right, let's take a look at number two. Mo has seven sports video games, three racing video games, and eight action video games. So part A, we're doing the ratio of sports games to all the games. So sports games is seven, and we need to compare that to the total amount of games. So seven sports games plus three racing games plus eight action games gives us a total of 18 games. So our part is the sports games and our whole is the whole group of 18 video games. So seven to 18, the only common factor between seven and 18 is one. So that uh, ratio is simplified. Um, so let's take a look at part B ratio of action games to all games. So action games, we have eight, right? Eight to the total amount of games, the whole, which is 18. Now, this ratio can be simplified. Um, the greatest common factor between eight and 18 is two. So I can divide both of them by two and I get four to nine. I'll circle my answer for part A as well. So there you have it. There are uh, part to whole ratios. We went through a few examples, so hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.